A new program announced today at Eastern Gateway Community College. After seeing the need, the school and Angels for Animals have teamed up to train the next generation of veterinary technicians. First News Weekend anchor Keely Lovern has the story. It is new at 11. There's a huge need for registered veterinary technicians here in the Valley. I have been able to find more veterinarians in the last three years than vet techs. That tells you something. So to help, Angels for Animals has paired up with Eastern Gateway Community College to offer a vet tech program where students can earn an associate's degree. We are now trying to build programs that are aligning ourselves to specific industries. You get a, a degree, you pass a board exam at the end of the two year uh, schooling, and then, you know, you're getting your feet in there, you can get a good job, you can get your way into a vet clinic like this one. Vet techs assist veterinarians while they're treating animals in their care. EGCC's program will launch in January. It's a very competitive uh, program. Uh, we have a lot of people that are going to start taking the prerequisites, volunteering a lot of their time, and then we'll accept the program, uh, the people into the program in the fall and in the spring. Students will get to train directly in the Angels Animal Clinic in Canfield, getting real life experience. Daly says the best part, though, is for students in Trumbull, Mahoning, Columbiana, and Jefferson counties, they can earn their degree for free. This gives uh, young people an opportunity to get a really good job, not go into big fat student debt like other people have to do, you know, to get degrees and, um, you know, get a good job right out of school. Les and Daly both agree that training and keeping people from the Valley in the Valley makes this collaboration even more special. That is what I'm more excited than anything is we're able to keep people here, keep people in our, in our service district working, creating opportunities for them to be able to have long-term careers, not having to leave the area. This really is going to help us. Keely Lover and WKBN 27 First News.